Does it feel like you're always out of money and you always seem to be broke? You know, you're making some mistakes, guys. Stay till the end of this video to find out what you might be doing wrong. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm just going to talk about some habits, very dangerous habits that are keeping you broke, that are keeping you almost poor, okay? And these are things you can make changes to and you would see that there will be like an increase in your finances. Your finances will be okay and you'll just be able to live a good and normal life. You might not be able to live as a multimillionaire, you know, immediately, but you will live more comfortably and you'll be okay financially. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is impulsive buying, guys. Don't buy everything you see. It's not everything you see that you need. You might not really need it. And the fact that it is trending or that your friend has it or people have it on social media does not mean you need it, guys. It's a trap to help you spend your money because a lot of things are just out there for people. So if you don't really need it, just look at it. That, well, how is it going to serve me? Do I need this item? Do I need to buy this thing? Overspending and impulsive spending will keep you broke because once you get paid, you already have something you want to buy that you don't even need. So before your salary even comes in, you're already in debt because you've already listed all the things you want to buy. Why? Why are you spending all of your money? Like you can actually save and just spend maybe 10% if if on your on your wants. You spend your money on your needs and on investments, not just buying and buying and buying everything that you think you want, guys. So that's my first point. Stop the impulsive buying or stop the impulsive spending. The next point would be that you should avoid excessive debt, right? Try not to live above your means. Live within your means or even below your means so that you'll avoid debt. Stop borrowing money for irrelevant things. Stop unnecessary spendings. Try your best not to be in debt. If it is something you can do, if it's something you can avoid, please avoid it because to keep you broke. Because you feel you, you find yourself always paying back loans, always paying back money to one person or another because you've spent all of the money you borrowed and then your salary comes and then all of a sudden the salary is gone in the twinkle of an eye because you are paying other people it doesn't make any sense if what you are using the money for is not necessary please stop it today i know a lot of people um take loans to buy houses that's fantastic you take loans to do necessary things okay so if what you are doing is unnecessary please stop it today Avoid debt because it will keep you broke and it will keep you poor and there's no point, okay guys. Another dangerous mistake is not tracking your expenses when you just spend and you know you buy and you spend and you buy and you don't even know what's going out of your account, you don't know what's coming into your purse. It is very dangerous, it's a very dangerous habit to keep you broke and poor for a very long time, okay. Make sure you track what you are buying so that you can even save out the things that are unnecessary, the things you are doing that you don't even need. Because there are some things you just do routinely, but they are not really beneficial. You are not really getting any use out of it. But you are just doing it as a routine that, oh, I've been doing this for 15 years, so I have to continue. You don't have to continue. If it's something that you don't need, just stop it, okay? Track your expenses, track your spending, so you can know that, okay, do I really even need this thing I'm doing? That is it even worth it. And you stop it so that you, I mean, you can save a little percentage of your earnings that way if you track your expenses. It is very important. You can track it by downloading any app on your phone or you can have like a journal where you just track your spendings and your earnings or you can stick some sticky notes on your fridge or on your wardrobe or something just make sure everything you're spending you have like a, a clear picture of what you're doing so that you can save your money and so you don't spend excessively and that will help you remain focused and it will even help you remain more you know disciplined and you'll be able to save even more money another very bad dangerous poor money habit is holding money and not investing okay i know a lot of people love to keep their money in the bank because they feel it's safer than investments but if you can you know do your findings i'm sure there are so many safe and you know low risk investments out there you don't need to use all of your savings for the investments okay you can just take a particular percentage you can take out 10 or 20 percent of your earnings and then try to invest to get some money so that that money you are getting from the investments can go into little things that can be feeding for the month or snacks for the kids for school for the month or for the year you know you you never you won't appreciate some of these things until you actually need the money imagine saving if you're if you live in nigeria and you earn in naira imagine saving maybe um five hundred thousand in a particular or fixing it in a in a in a particular bank or investing it in something and then you are getting under five hundred thousand 
you are getting a very good percentage maybe 10 percent or 20 percent back every month i mean that's something it might not be it may not feel like millions you might not be able to buy a car with it with that money or buy land or you can use it for little things that will further help you grow your money because if you're using that excess that extra to make your hair or subscribe for your data or using it to take your things out for the weekend if you're using that then you're not taking it from your main salary and that's something you're actually growing your money because that money now remains your savings account and then it is actually an ex is like it's growing okay so indirectly whatever you do whatever you get from investments really help even if you feel like you can't make your life better but trust me it's making your life better indirectly without you even paying attention to it the last and the most important thing that you need to stop doing right now is keeping up with the joneses okay trying to be who you are not trying to be what you are not trying to live a life you cannot afford don't go and borrow money to throw a party or to take a vacation or to buy one irrelevant car that nobody even knows what you are doing okay just try your best to live within your means like i said in one of my points earlier don't keep up with the joneses don't do things you cannot afford because it may it will keep you broke it will keep you poor you will not like yourself at the end of the day okay and even the like if you are doing it for gratification or for to impress people it's not worth it it's not worth it guys just live your life for you make sure you do what makes you happy and you know just just be comfortable enough to make yourself happy with your lifestyle don't try to now go above and beyond to prove to people that you can afford a certain lifestyle then you now go broke and then you end up being poor and miserable like it makes no sense guys i hope you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to like share subscribe and comment i hope i'll see you in my next video guys bye